what's up guys i'm the here back with another video and in this tutorial i'm going to walk you through how to set up a domain controller using windows server 2019 so stay tuned and i will see you after the intro okay guys welcome back let's go ahead and continue and we're going to start by changing the server name by typing in this pc and we're going to right click that and go to properties and over to the right here we're going to go to change settings click that and we're going to go to change and in this location we could go ahead and delete the default name and rename it to whatever we like i'm going to name my db super Go ahead and click OK. And we should get a box to pop up that says we must restart the computer to apply changes. Hit OK. And I'm going to go ahead and close this. And then we're going to go ahead and restart the server. All right, guys, while we wait, go ahead and drop a like, sub, and click the notification bell to get notified for the next videos. I greatly appreciate it. So let's go ahead and continue. The server is back up, so I'm gonna go ahead and remote back into the server. And make note, in a previous video, we used VMware to set this up. I had the luxury of having a spare machine, so I went through those steps again and decided to install it on a dedicated machine. The only difference is you will be booting up VMware versus me just remoting it to a PC. Okay, moving along, once we're back into the server, we're gonna go ahead and verify that the server name has changed. Go ahead and search for this PC. And we're gonna go ahead and right click it, go down to properties. And we're gonna take a peek just to make sure, there we go, db-super. Go ahead and close out of this. And we're gonna go to the next step, add in roles and features. So at the top right and manage, go ahead and click add roles and features. And here's some things you might wanna read before you begin. I already read it, so we could go ahead and continue. Go ahead and make sure role-based or features-based installation is selected. Click next. Make sure the server is here, db-super. Go ahead, click next. And we're gonna make sure Active Directory domain services are selected. So after that, go ahead and click add features. And go ahead and click next. And that's about it. Everything else we're gonna keep default. All we needed was the domain services role. So let's go ahead and click next. Click next again. Now we're gonna go ahead and click install to install all the tools that's needed. This might take a minute, so feel free to pause the video and come back once it's done. I'm gonna let it run for a little bit and come back once it's finished. All right, looks like it's done. So let's go ahead and continue. So go ahead and close out of this. And notice up here at the top right where the flag is showing a yellow triangle with an exclamation mark in it. We're gonna need to go ahead and promote the server to a domain controller. So go ahead and go up here and click on notifications. And notice it says, promote this server to a domain controller. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and click this. And it should take us to some more options. We're gonna go ahead and add a new forest and this is gonna be your domain name. So make it whatever you like. Mine's gonna be omni-king.local. You can name it whatever you like. It could be .com or whatnot. Mine is .local because it's not deployed on the internet. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit next. And we're gonna set up a password. I'm gonna go ahead and use the same password I used to log into the server. Once you're done setting up the password, go ahead and click next. And we're not gonna create a DNS delegation. Keep that unchecked. Go ahead and click next. Keep everything default. And it's gonna go ahead and verify the net BIOS name. All right, so now you can see Omni-King. We're gonna go ahead and click next. And it's gonna show you your different paths database folders, your log file folders, and your sysval folders. Go ahead and click next. 
and now it's just showing you the review of your options go ahead and click next now it's going to go ahead and verify everything and make note if you click install it will automatically reboot the server so go ahead and click install and let it run through the installation after that the server will automatically reboot give it a little moment look like everything is completed so after the installation go ahead and click close and the server is going to automatically restart and then we could go ahead and remote back into the system and make sure that it got promoted to a domain controller all right so now i'm going to ping the device and make sure that the server is back up all right looks like it's back up i'm getting a reply from it so let's go ahead and pull up remote desktop and I have the IP address here. Let's go ahead and connect. All right, let's put in a password and continue on logging in and make note right here. It says the server name and also the domain controller name. Go ahead and click yes and let's continue on verifying that it took and we're going to let the group policy client load up which is not the fastest <laughs> all right continuing on make note that we are now signing in as an admin under the omni dash king domain controller which means we have successfully deployed the domain controller and we're good so let's go ahead and verify it yep server name and the domain name all right guys that concludes this video in the next coming up video we're going to go ahead and create our users and add some devices to the domain so i hope you like this video i hope you learned something new go ahead and like and sub to the channel and i will see you guys in the next one peace